Hello friends, in this video we will we'll discuss BOS of PV system part 1. BOS means balance of system of PV system. Means how, what are the components which suppose the solar panel to form a full solar PV system. That we will discuss in this video. So contains for today's video, what is BOS, what is the definition and we will discuss the electrical components of the BOS. What are the supporting electrical components for the BOS, for the PV system. So BOS, so what is a BOS? In order to maintain the reliable supply from the PV system to the load, there will be a several other components are required in a PV power system. These components are referred as a balance of system, that is BOS. So BOS is a mechanical or the electrical equipment, or the hardware used to assemble and integrate the major components and to contact, distribute and control the flow of power in the system, which may includes wires, switches, mounting systems, or many type of solar inverters, battery banks, battery chargers, all the components which support the PV, pa PV panel. Okay, P except the PV button, all other comes in a balance of systems. Even a small clamp, what we are connecting uh, for the support, that also comes in a BOS section. So in this video, we'll discuss only the electrical part. So first part is a battery. If you required for the standalone systems, then battery is the most important element to store the energy because PV is not available for the night. So to in a basic components also for the storage purpose, we are using a battery. So mostly the battery which are used in a PV system is a lithium acid batteries. And for the lithium acid batteries, the DOD is 50 percentage for the design will take and you want to maintain is maintain maintenance battery okay sometimes we can use the maintenance free battery also but always there is a required of maintenance next one is a power conditioning units so power conditioning units which converts the controls con converts and controls and process the dc power produced by the pv array for interfacing with the electrical load and utilization equipments or the other electrical systems so whatever the control and conditioning of the power whatever we obtaining from the pv system is done by the power conditioning unit now in this power conditioning unit we having the charge controllers that might be pwm that is the pulse width modulation or the mppt controllers dc dc converters inverters even the battery chargers also but we are discussing the battery chargers in the charge controllers only that only maintains the battery charge so that have not taken here actually so we'll discuss one by one so charge controllers, the charge controllers regulate the battery charging by limiting the charging current from the PV array and protect the battery from the overcharge. Okay, the first function of the charge controller is to protect the battery to getting the overcharge from the PV array. Another one is a load controller. You should not be over discharge the battery. Two functions, so two switches. If the two switches only a simple controller is used that is known as a PWM controller. Okay, now if you want the electrical tracking and you are putting an MPPT controller that is maximum power point tracking by the way of electrical, then it is the MPPT controller charge controllers are used. Okay, so these are the two types of controllers we have. Okay, so MPPT charge controllers are the electronics which operate the PV model in a maximum power point. It includes all the interactive inverters with some battery charge controllers. Also use the PV module and the source circuit level for the some applications. Next one is the inverter. See, inverter, because all the 
loads which are connected usually in a systems are the ac load so but solar pv system produce the dc so we required one conversion that is dc to ac which is done by the inverter so inverter where it is located it is always be located after the charge controller and the battery bank in a certain off grid energy system okay and it is not situated if it is a roof mounted it is not situated in a roof mount okay it is situated in a where in a closed room so ip protection is according to that one so in this one we have so many types of inverters one is a spring inverter central inverter micro inverter and ba battery based inverter and now even nano inverters are there which is back side only it is there of the panel okay this is the latest one that is a nano inverters so spring inverter what we will dis we'll discuss the difference between the spring and the micro inverters where the spring inverters are used and where the micro inverters are used so spring inverters are the most common choice for the residential solar application okay because the spring inverter has been for decades decadely we are using for so many years we are using so there is much more field data that can be collected it is for this reason the spring inverters are still most trusted solution regardless of the advantage of micro inverter having so spring inverter will convert the dc electricity from multiple solar panels to the usable ac electricity at the ground level by a service panel constantly the central inverters will be have a high voltage okay so central inverters having the high voltage and the spring inverter will convert the dc current from multiple solar panels to the usable at the ground level at the survey panel means it is ground it is not fitted near to the panels it is somewhere so all the power it is collecting and then it is converting it off the spring inverters is recommendedly for the large photovoltaic system with no shading concerns ground mounted system no residential applications also okay the downside of the string inverter that is there entire spring of the solar panel is affected if the if the one of the solar panel is shaded fire hazard and alternative risk is higher when you have a string based system with no built in power co control within the array okay this all the other side effects and so advantage is the is a mature technology predictable and cost effective this advantage not optimized for the shading for the shading is done then the grid this string inverter cannot help difficult to expand no monitoring no safety point also the fire hazards are the problem micro inverters it is mounted directly behind the each solar panel turning the dc electricity to e solar panel to the usable see we are getting back of the solar panel junction box we are getting the dc supply now if you are putting a micro inverter what will happen you are getting directly a panel is giving you the ac okay because each conversion is happening at the modular level you have you are the maximizing the potential output of your system if one of the solar panel shaded by the tree it will not affect the output of any other solar panel because it is not a single point failure there is no single point failure micro inverters also eliminate the potentially hazardous high voltage dc wiring makes your solar system much easier to expand yes it is a module based so there is no required of high dc wiring systems also mppd tracking technology is also used in micro uh, inverters about the optimize the electricity output by responding the varying the levels of the light every couple of minutes okay every couple of minutes it will track the mppd point actually every micro inverters also has its own ip address so it can be monitored remotely with the web based software okay now it having the remote mode controlling also will be done because it is ip based system actually 
so advantages you see design installation and scalability mppt is the optimized of the shading remote monitoring capability yes this advantage is very expensive actually and the relatively a new technology nowadays in india also you are getting so many panels with the micro inverters actually like loom solar they are giving actually for the micro inverters yes where which one is used so when when i would i use the string inverters so you are designing 8 kilowatt grid type solar system where you can use you can either have a roof space available to fit the entire array or you can install the ground mounted system okay you can also have no shading concern if you do not have a plan for expanding the system okay that is the system where the string inverters are used now micro inverters are used from 2.5 kilowatt grid type for your home this point you are not sure whether you are want to expand the system later on okay without a large roof space to fit entire solar array you have a segmented into three three solar and different parts of the roof and the top of the grain there is also a large soak tree next to you there will be occasionally cover the part of the one array so wherever the shading effects and such issues are there and you want to expand your system and so many where you have a, a pv system you want to install you can install the micro inverter based pv panel system actually but wherever you have no expansion constant no shading effects there you can use the string inverter system actually thank you